Hi, I'm Hal Habaker, and we're looking at different ways you as a senior man or woman can utilize your talents and gifts for the kingdom of God and the local church. You know, the Gospels are full of stories where Jesus touched, embraced, and loved on disabled people. So in imitating Christ, you might consider giving your time for the benefit of others who might not be as fortunate as yourself. Shirley and Stan Spittler have a special needs son named Scott. They've spent their entire lives giving not only to Scott, but to other special needs adults as well. They work in a special program at Highland Park United Methodist Church in Dallas called Spotlight. I worked uh, in wholesale floor covering for quite a while, and then and I went in on active duty in the military, and I stayed there for 22 years. And I ended up as a director of operations at Skyline High School for the JROTC program. And I did 10 years there. Professionally, I had 18 years experience in television, eight of that in commercial television. My time now is filled with a variety of things. The things I enjoy the most are the theater program called Spotlight that's housed at our church. that is a theater program, musical theater program for special needs adults, ages 16 to 60-ish. Spotlight Musical Theater uh, for our son, who has always wanted to perform. When I got wind of it, I called up immediately and registered him as a performer. I went to the first rehearsal almost nine years ago and I thought to myself, wow, these people so know what they're doing. I gotta become part of this. So I went up to the director, Lisa Smith, at the end of the first, first ever rehearsal and said, Lisa, you might as well give me a job because I'm gonna be here every Saturday anyway. In, in September, we get together with a we, meaning the cast, and they sit down for the first couple of rehearsals and create, come up with ideas really a brainstorming uh, event between the, the cast members. And then uh, our, our paid the staff, the professionals, and again I say these are professional theater people, turn that into a script. Then Lisa Smith, our director, takes those ideas and turns that into an original play. It always turns out being something very uplifting. We have a musical comedy normally. We always have a dance, dance sequences. A couple of years ago, we, f we flew my son on stage, which was just, it scared the church to death that we would put him on a wire. And that's not actually what we did, but his character was Fly Guy that year, and he flew on stage. I'm sort of like a backstage manager on one side of the theater, and I analyze the script so that I stay ahead of where the entrances and exits for the performance are, because they do need help knowing when to go on and when to come off. Yeah, that is a pretty important role, to get everybody together and make sure they're on the right, right part of the stage. I have been in Ninja, what we call Ninja, where you're, you're in a black outfit to where you're supposed to be invisible to the audience. And then I've also been in costume, where I've been, been part of the team. This, this year I'm a fireman, and I am going to be on stage some, but the, the real role that I normally play if I'm on stage is to, to prompt on the cue so that the, the actors around me uh, that I'm responsible for hit their lines on time. They like help us make sure we, we are on stage on time and they, um, they're, they're a big help on backstage when it comes to get everybody on stage. I know it's stressful, but they, they seem to do it. I've made a lot of little mini speeches to new people that have come on board that are volunteers and maybe never done anything like this before. And I said, the one thing is common about this work. Volunteers end up getting more out of it than the, than the people they're volunteering for. They see people that are really handicapped is what they are, mentally, physically, or both, and they're out there doing something that a lot of people are scared to do. Anybody who would like to learn about theater or learn about the population with disabilities, I would encourage to come try it. Uh, 
sometimes it's not for everybody. Because in our, in our community, some people are uncomfortable, you know, so they wouldn't probably volunteer for that in the first place. But if they do, it, it's, it's, there's no experience required. You don't have to have any sort of special expertise to have fun with these guys. And it, that's what it is. It's just a whole lot of fun. And we've had volunteers come in there and for, for no apparent reason, because they're not connected with a cast member, and just stay with us for five, six years, because they love it. My own personal reward has been watching the performers grow, watching them support each other. They are so excited to be in this production every year. They're so enthusiastic. Even, even the ones that uh, are kind of minimalistic about what they can do, uh, they're just all so happy to be there. And they're having a good time, which makes me have a good time because I enjoy watching. For nine years now, Stan and I have run the chaos backstage to a degree, but it's it's great. We, I wouldn't trade it for anything, and um, I'll do it as long as I can. Stan and Shirley Spittler, finishing well in their retirement years, working with special needs adults. Perhaps you might decide that you could do this also. Or perhaps your talents, expertise, and life experiences fit better in another way. Keep joining me, and we'll continue to look at older servants who are finishing well and show you examples in videos to come as together with God's help, we seek to finish well. I'm Hal Habecker. Mm -hmm.